In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this uh, base plate cover to cover up all the holes from the other mounting plates from the 15 different thermostats that's been in this house over the years. And the contractors and carpenters never fixed their holes. So I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to cover up all my holes too. But I'm going to do it in a fashion where I cover it up with a piece of wood. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Stay tuned and watch how I did it. So the first thing on the agenda was to take off the mounting plate that the nest mounts onto. As you can see, all of the other screw holes from all the other thermostats that have been here. I know that since I've lived here, I've replaced the thermostat twice, and this is the third time. Um, but I also needed to remove all these little plastic anchors that the screws have set in the past. And then I wanted to take my five-in-one tool, just kind of clean up the drywall so that this new piece of wood sits flush on the drywall, and it just gives it a good, nice, clean look. I also wanted to get it all painted. Even though I'm attaching this to the wall, I still want it to be painted behind. I didn't want to have to cut in and worry about all that. And this just looks a lot nicer this way. And also like every great project that I do, I have no plans. I'm going to figure this out as I go. So the first part of this was to lay out for the walnut dowels. I really, really like the contrasting look between the hard maple and the walnut dowels. So I'm going to carry it onto this project as well. So if I can give any kind of tip, the best tip is to tape your tip. But no, in all honesty, really do it because it'll keep you from drilling to the other side. I've built a lot of tables and I've accidentally drilled through the bottom of the table and it sucks. So don't make that mistake, just tape it. Take the time to do it. So now of course after I flush trim those dowels down, I had to do a little bit of sanding. Then I started noticing it needed something else and it needed a chamfer on the back because I knew that my wall wasn't pretty so if I could be able to hide that it's not completely flush to the wall this chamfer will make it look like it's floating and then it also hide the fact that it is not flat and then also when I'm drilling my holes drill halfway through and then drill through the other side it keeps you from blowing out the back even though you'll never see the back I know that the back was blown out so I just like to do that every single time. Now that I had my hole drilled for the wires to be pulled through, it was time to put the mounting plate on for the nest. I spent a good amount of time making sure that my numbers were going to match up because I knew once you put the nest system onto this mounting plate that if there was any variance, you would just see it. Well, I would just see it and it would bother me every time I walked past it. So I spent a good amount of time doing that. Now I used my keyhole jig as well to make sure that I could still access it if I ever needed to get behind it, which I doubt I will, but you never know. And I got this little jig right here. I built it in like five minutes and I need to build a new one, but I haven't had the time to do it. But keyhole jig, so awesome once you build one. Now after spending an eternity again on sanding, it was time to add the mineral oil. Now a lot of people wouldn't consider mineral oil as a good finish, but I think mineral oil for any kind of decoration or cutting board is perfect. I feel like it uh, brings out just the natural sheen of the wood, it makes all of the wood itself pop, and then it also is super fast drying, it doesn't stink at all and you can instantly start working with it because it's just more of an oil than anything. And plus, it makes your hands all feel nice and smooth and, you know, during the day, I work a lot with uh, construction stuff. So my hands are all nice and rough and whenever I use mineral oil, it makes me all feel nice and pretty. So now it's time for the grand finale of installing it. Now, the install went pretty smooth. Um, I have plaster in my walls of my house so I was able to just to run two three inch screws with the plastic drywall anchors behind it. Probably didn't even need the drywall anchors, but I used them just to be safe, just in case if I came home and I bumped into it at like 75 miles an hour, it wouldn't knock off the wall. But I doubt that's gonna happen. And then I'm not an electrician either, so I'm not gonna show you how I wired it because I'm not an electrician and I don't wanna be reliable if you end up like dying or any crazy stuff like that. So we'll save that for the professionals. 
and here it is all wrapped up looks really really nice in my house and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching and if you could please comment like subscribe tell your brother or your sister and then the next time I'll see you in the next video bye guys